Hi everyone, we're here again at Homestead Senior Care on uh, Route 19, right by Movies of Meadville, and we thank Lisa Bailey because she lets us do our programs here. And we're doing a program today on a type of dog I'll bet 90% of you out there have never heard of. It's called a skipper key. Yes. And the person with me is Meredith. Now we've got to take a pause because I can't seem to get the right, correct, the right pronunciation of her name. <laughs> So she's going to introduce herself, and then she's going to introduce her dog, and then we're going to start talking about the dog. Uh, Meredith Schickling, and this is Snickers. And Snickers is a skipper, skipper key. key. Put your little ears up. <laughs> yeah, I, someone said what obvious is they. To me, they look like a little black fox. Yes, they've been referred to that. They huh. have a personality of a fox. They can be mischievous. Oh, do, can they? <clears throat> yes. I, have you had her since birth? No, we rescued, you rescued her. her. Yes, she was. Um, they said anywhere from one to five years old. When you got her, why did they get rid of her? I wonder. <gasps> they just found her. Oh, they found her. They found her. I hate people. That yes, let that happen. She was just running around. Well, tell us all about a, a sh shipper key, right? Skipper, skipper key. key. Skipper key. Um, okay, here we go. They don't listen. They do their own thing. <laughs> Wait a minute. All dogs don't listen. <laughs> I took her to puppy classes when I first got her, and, and you failed. No, the trainer looked at me and said, good luck. Oh. <laughs> this breed can be a little difficult. Really? I've only met one, one in my entire life. See, she, she's been to training school. Well, first of all, you got her at a shelter yes. around here? Yes, the Anna Shelter. The Anna Shelter? Yep. Wow. And whatever made you pick this dog? I just wanted a small dog to go kayaking with. Does she go kayaking? No, she doesn't listen, so I don't take her. Does she do anything? Does she, does she ever listen? No. Oh, my heavens. Well, that, I mean, now we can all identify with that because we all have dogs that don't listen. Yes, yeah, she does her own thing. Really? Yes. I have a 14-year-old Shih Tzu, and I tell people that for 14 years, that little devil's been telling me what to mm -hmm. do. And that's I her. And I obey well. Yes, that's right. If I get a certain bark, a certain move, a certain run to me, a run to the door, whatever it is, it's like Todd telling yep. me. And I was late coming today, and I thought, Someone said, why are you a little bit late? And I said, well, I can't get here until Tyler tells me I can leave. <laughs> he controls my every move. Yep. Well, there you go there, Snickers. You do the same thing. Yep. Huh. Well, like, tell me about the breed. Uh, they were, they're from Belgium. They were bred to uh, kill rats on boats. Um, some people said there's, there might be a spitz in here. Because I, I, I think so because of the coat. What about the tail? Is the tail no with, tail. No tail. Are they born with a tail? No tail. They're born without a tail. Yep. Because some dogs' tails are docked. Other yes. ones are born without a tail. Nope. So they're no born tail. without a tail. No and tail. they were born to get the rats on the boats. Yep. Because they're small, compact, fast. She's very fast. Um, if she gets loose, good luck catching her. I have, you know, here Darn, I, she's fast. And I have one of those too. I have one that for, the other one is 14 and a half, and if he would get out, Loose, I'll never get him. She just takes off. That's what he does. There's no <laughs> chance. And then you say, come back if you want, because I'm not going to catch you. Pretty much. So they were they're from Belgium, and they were raised to kick the, the rats on the boat. Yes. Huh. And what is the pre? What colors do they come? I looked that up last night. There's different colors, apricot, but the only ones I've ever seen is black. I've only seen the black, too. Yeah. There's an apricot and some other ones. And on huh. the kennel show. I've only seen the black ones. And how much do they weigh? What's the, what's the, what is the breed standard oh, for? I thought it was like, I don't remember now. It looks 10, to me... 10, 14 pounds. I was going to say about 14 yeah. pounds. That's what I would guess. Yeah. They're compact. She moves real nice. She's got a real nice gait. Oh, does she? Yeah. If we put her down, will she run away? Oh, I don't know what she'll do. Well, let's see. Hold the other end of the leash. See what should. And she does have no tail. No tail. What about the fur? Does she shed? It comes out in clumps. When I brush her, it comes. It's more like clumps of hair. She does look like a fox. Yeah. Wow. And what about? Tell me about the the ears. The ears are upright. Yes. See, we don't have any. We have very few ear issues because the yep. ears are upright. And what about? And the tail is, is born that way. Yes. Okay. What about the eyes? Um, we've had no problems, health problems with her. Zero. Nothing? Nothing. Well, you got lucky. Yes, very lucky. Huh, she says, I'd like to smell which one of the dogs <laughs> you have at home here. 
and then I know all about that. Um, and and the, uh, the amazement with her was her size. That was the big yes. thing. Yep, I like the size. Huh. Um, tell me, and you, you have four dogs. Yes. Tell me about your four dogs, and then tell me, you tell me this one here is the boss. Oh, wow, that fur is real rough. Yeah, it's real rough. It's thick. It almost reminds me of the fur that you find on a Karen Terrier. Yeah. It really is very, very similar to that. It's almost like that rough, really yep. coarse hair. It's different. It really is. I was amazed whenever I touched it. I thought it was yeah. going to be smoother, but it's no, not. It's, it's very, very rough. Yeah, it's rough. Huh. Well, she's the boss. We got a... What do you have at home? A Chihuahua, Boston Terrier, and a Palm Mix. Now, her and the Chihuahua are best buds. They hang out together. Well, the Boston Terrier, what was that Boston Terrier's name? Taco. Taco was here. Yes. We did a program with Taco. And this one here is the boss. Yes. What she says goes. She's a barker, too. I don't know if that's standard for the breed, but she barks a lot. If I come to your house, is she going to bite me? No. Is she going to bark? Oh, yes. If there's a car passes outside, does she bark a lot? She barks when the wind blows. You bark when the wind blows? <laughs> Are you, do you need a psychiatrist? Yes. <laughs> do you need a psychiatrist? Is that the issue here? It wouldn't hurt. Huh. Wow. And I wonder why people like them. I, I haven't seen too many of no, them. No, this is the first one I've ever seen. I've only seen them on TV. I had one other person years ago that uh, came to the bark park and had one. That was the only one I ever had seen. And they're very healthy. I are, mean, are they good travelers? Yeah, she loves the car. Um, their lifespan is uh, 15 years. Wow. You know, for her age now, you think she's about 14 because you're not sure. Yeah. Her teeth are in pretty good shape. Yeah. She gets chewies and the dentist sticks and hard dog food. And you haven't spent too much money on, no. on uh, vet bills at all? No. She's been extremely healthy. You got lucky. Yep. Very huh. lucky. They're healthy little... How's she with other dogs? Um, what about that one? We had one just come in. Uh, what was here? A pug. Yeah, she's usually fine, but when she was younger, she didn't really care for other dogs. She's Except for the ones in the pack in the yes, house. Yes. Yes. Now the years just went did really something yeah. really strange. <laughs> Instead of being this way, they kind of went to the outside. Yeah. Huh. No, she was a little brat when we got her. She didn't like other dogs. She didn't like a bunch of anything. Where does she sleep? Where she wants. <laughs> Why am I asking that? Where does she sleep? Yeah. Where does she eat? What does the she do? The recliner, she... the couch. Anything you want. You are yep. the boss. She does whatever she wants. Wow. Um, how is she with kids? Um, I've never really had her around kids very much. Because you were hesitant that she yes. would go after them? I was hesitant that, you know, she, you know they, nip. they can nip if you have the kid pulls an ear or... You can let her die. Just you know, hold her t tight and then we'll kind of keep her here so the cameraman yes. can keep getting pictures of her. Look at that. Oh, she says, I'm just right here sitting. <laughs> so, um, and you're not so sure about kids. I would, you know, a lot of these smaller dogs tend to not be real great with kids. Correct. They can be, a, they get intimidated, I think. Now, you always wear a harness on her? Yes, because she pulls terrible when she's on the leash. And we've never been able to break her of that. And she'll start coughing and she, pulling. She and, was in charge. Yep. Snickers, you have this whole place buffaloed. <laughs> You're just in charge, aren't you? Yes. And what? And you said other dogs. She was good with the pack yes. and stuff like that. What about training? Terrible. <laughs> is, is, there, is there anything good about this dog? She's got a. She's very happy. <laughs> She's very not, I mean, yeah. she doesn't know me, and she could just about care that I'm here. Yeah, she doesn't care. She was feisty when we got her, though. She was full of it. Huh. She was a little angry. Did, did you say that you they're, they're part of the terrier group, aren't they, I would think? Or what group uh, are they with? I they're think not, they're in the toy. They could be in the toy group, I think right. they're in the toy, because they're not. Now, you said that you had also seen them on the uh, AKC or yes. on a dog yes. show. Hmm. Well, I'm amazed at the fur. Yeah, it's real thick. It's real thick, and she, it doesn't shed that much. No, and she loves being outside in the snow. Oh, yeah. But as I said, for those people that have a Karen Terrier or anything like that, to me it feels very, very yeah. much like a, a Karen Terrier's Yeah, fur. she loves to be outside. Likes to be outside. Yes. Fenced in yard, I guess. Yes, fenced in yard. Because <laughs> she's going to be gone. Yes. <laughs> I don't trust there her. There she is. 
And you said training didn't go well. What, no. You, I don't know whether you said it on film, but what did you tell me about training? You uh, tried the to train. trainer said good luck. Good luck. Because of the breed. They're, they're just, they can be difficult. She wants to do what she wants to do. She liked the dog treats at class, but that was about it. <laughs> <laughs> she probably made sure you got the ones that she liked. Wow. Now she rides real well in the car. Um, she likes to be outside. The older she's gotten, she's calmed down. But um, she likes to run a lot. There's a lot of zoomies, a lot of running. Really? She's got one speed. It's either walk or gone. There's no in between. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to pick you as a dog. You have too many things. You, I already have one that tells me what to do. I can't have another one. That would be nuts. Uh, they're, they're good for the right person, but the, she likes to be outside, active. I mean, she will cuddle with you, but she likes to be out doing stuff. Real quick, and the four dogs, you've got a crazy combination yes. there. Yes. You're like a shelter. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you've got the Boston Terrier. Yes. What was his name again? Taco. Taco. Then you've got this one. Then what else do you have? It's Chihuahua Floyd. Is that a... Um... Long-haired Chihuahua. Oh, a long-haired Chihuahua. Yeah. How old's that one? He is four. Oh, my God. How and old is uh, the, the Palm Boston? Mix? The Boston is seven. And how old is the Palm Mix? That's another one we're not sure on the age because he was adopted. Do you cruise these shelters occasionally no. now? No, no more. You're done. <laughs> I'm done. What if something really good came along? <gasps> well, would you think about it? I would think about it. <laughs> yeah, I th I'm sure you would. Wow. And you say um, she's black and you think they do come maybe an apricot too. Yes, there was that. And I, black is the only color I've ever seen. Um, and if you look them up on the internet, that's all I see is black. Whenever, um, whenever you take her to the vet, is she okay at the vet's office? Yeah, she's good. She doesn't mind going there. Mm -mm. She, I'm amazed at the teeth. Yeah. The teeth really look like they're in good shape. She's, a, she's giving her best view now to yeah. the cameraman. <laughs> We're getting the rear end view here, in case we've forgotten that. Tell her. She seems very sturdy. Yes. What, and what do you think she weighs? About 14, yeah, 15 about pounds? Yeah, about 14. Yeah, they're well built. They are built. They're built. They remind me of an awful, I always use the reference of a dog that's well built when I think of a schnauzer. A lot mm -hmm. of people know schnauzers. And they're always built just so solid and like a, like the, a rock. And that's how she chest, is too. Bigger chest, bigger uh chest. Uh-huh. A little skinnier in the back. Mm -hmm. Tell me some more things about her. Um, what? She, she likes chicken nuggets. For McDonald's. <laughs> Will she kill, if you... Yeah. No, I've never, she's never went after anything. Nothing. Mm -mm. So any chipmunk or anything that gets in your mm -hmm. yard, she doesn't get... Well, then you lost... You were supposed to be bred to go after the, the rats yeah. at the ships. She doesn't care. You don't care about that? Mm -mm. The Boston Terrier goes after uh, chipmunks in the fence. She doesn't care. Her eyes look very alert. You said you think that she's not, doesn't, uh, her eyesight's not that she's, great, but boy, they, her eyes are clear. She bumps into me sometimes, and you can see her hesitate going up the stairs sometimes. And then sometimes she hesitates jumping up on the recliner at different times. Because she's not quite sure. Yeah, I think like the lighting sometimes and different time of the day, she has a little difficulty. How much food does she eat? She eats whatever. I put food out, and she, she's a nibbler. Oh, so she grazes. Yeah, she grazes. Do all your dogs graze? All of them. If I, if I graze with my dog, my one would just get fatter and fatter and fatter <laughs> and fatter. No, they, they, there's days... They have all grazed. They yeah. all graze. Chihuahua especially, because they're so small. They, yeah. they really like to graze, you know, several little meals throughout the day. That always amazes me. My dogs eat at a certain time, and if they don't eat, then the food is taken away. Nope. And you, all yours graze, mm -hmm. and all four of them. Wow, that's amazing. I, did, I thought that would be hard to do with a massive number of dogs like that. With the dry dog food, it's fine. But if you put anything into those bowls, you got to stand there and watch because she eats like a vacuum cleaner. And then as soon as she sucks her treat down, she goes after the next dog's treat. So you've got to stop that? Yes. Did you ever try a slow feeder on her years ago? No. Did you ever see a slow feeder? Yes. So feeders work real well. Yeah. It slows down the dog that just wants to gulp everything down. But treats, I mean, she inhales oh, it treats. and goes right after the, the next dog's treat. Because she's in charge. Yes. 
Um, tell me something else about her. Any other thing you can think um, of? No, it's a good little dog. It's just they're active. They've got rides a good well in the car. Yeah, rides well in the car. Where does she sleep? Wherever she wants. On the bed? No. We don't let him in the bedroom anymore. Oh, well, see. Yeah, uh, no, why, why isn't she in the bedroom? The husband said no more dogs in bed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's tough. Yeah. Is she, was she crated? Whatever? You don't crate anybody now. Uh, not, but when I got her, I did, and she hated it. She was always trying to dig out of the kennel. She did not do well in the kennel. You don't crate anybody now? No. Nope. Okay. Well, thanks so much for bringing You're her welcome. in because, as I said, I haven't seen one of these. I, 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 was, I saw one, one once, and it was a long, long time ago. But she's something else. Did you get a close-up on her there, Mr. <laughs> cameraman? Yeah. I, I just, someone said to me, I, I said, I'm doing a skipper key, and they said, what is it? And I said, a little black box. The, the courthouse, when I do the dog license, mm -hmm. they, won't, they don't understand what a skipper key is, and they keep crossing it off and putting mixed breed. Well, then that, is that true? <laughs> they keep crossing it off. They got her down as a black mixed breed. I wonder if they do that with all. Well, they're going to have trouble because so many people have the designer dogs now. Yeah. And so many are just some combination of something else. I wonder if they do that with the other ones. Yeah, I have, like to buy up the Boston. I put down Boston, and that's fine. Her, I put down Skipper Key, and they. So she's just down as a small black. Well,. <laughs> Because you've got to go see them about I that. I know. And get this straightened out. Yeah, you want to oh, do yeah. that? Oh, yeah. She's going to give you a kiss, too, <laughs> in the process. Well, again, thanks very much, You're Maris. Welcome. I appreciate it. Uh, maybe we'll see you at some point with a long-haired uh, chihuahua. Sure. I, I could. <laughs> Meredith, I need this dog. Do you happen to have one of those? Oh, you do? Okay, yes. Okay, fine. Let's do another one. So you've got the, the um, long-haired chihuahua. Oh, and the Pomeranian. Yes. Is that, a, is that a mix? He's a mix. Oh. Is the... Um, uh, long hair uh, chihuahua mix. No, he's purebred. Oh, he's, uh, we might have to get him in. Yes, he's a purebred. Okay, because I don't think he's I have one of He's not show that. quality, though, because his ears are tipped. Oh. They should stand up straight like this. This one. Yeah, I, he was sold. I bought him as, you know, pet companion. When they're born, are their ears um, up? I, I think wonder. so. Well, you know, German shepherds aren't. I don't know. That's a good German question. German shepherds many times are down, and then they come up. That's a good question. I don't know. Well, now we don't know that answer. No. But it doesn't really matter because we <laughs> like you anyways. Okay, well, thanks very much. I appreciate it. We'll catch you again. Okay. <laughs> All right, the second uh, dog that we want to do today, and I assume we're going to have the skipper key followed by the pug, is the pug, and it belongs to Ryan Keeby, and the dog's name is Rico. That's right. Okay, tell me all about yourself. What do you do? So I am the community marketing manager at Armstrong. Uh, I work closely with Kevin, um, handle our local advertising, marketing, and uh, cool. sponsorships and things like that. But more importantly here, my dog Rico, as you said, he's a pug. Um, he was born in 2018, January 2nd to be exact. He's four. He'll be five, obviously, in January. And he is just a bundle of energy and, and just... Uh, full of compassion and just that that's really kind of the main reason why I wanted to get him is uh, Is for that exact reason is that he is just one of those dogs that requires attention, you know And I just I really appreciate that this dog got lucky because since uh, since you came in and Now that you're sitting here and since I've met Kate too this dog got lucky because you two are crazy about this dog This is this dog is phenomenal to me and you I mean you could go on for days talking about this dog we love we love Rico, man, and and I'll you know just to be honest too, I got him at a time where I was pretty lonely in mm -hmm. my life. I moved up here in 2017 to work for the Meadville YMCA, and uh, again during that time I was completely lonely. I got Rico, and I actually met Kate shortly after that, and you know he he just kind of filled a void in in that period of time in my life, and. He really is a best friend of mine, and you know it's it's just crazy the bond that that we have. I mean, I like leave, and she says that he like is just waiting for me to come back. And did you ever it, think it's 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 it's, uh, it's amazing? Did you ever think of getting another dog? We have considered getting another dog, and we're another... hoping to get another dog here next year if we can get, Would you get some, pug? some other things in line. Yes, we want to get another pug for sure. That that's the dog that I want to get. Yeah, we want to get another pug. 
And because I mean, they go well together, you know, like you're just groups of pugs, right? I mean, let's groups just get pugs. as many I, as we I can. I told you, I know somebody that had five or four <laughs> yeah, or five right. at one time. Okay, so um, tell me about the breed standard. So, what, let's talk about first of all, what colors do they come in? Yeah, so they come in fawn. Uh, this is a fawn color here, the, the kind of tan brown mm -hmm. color here. Um, and black would be kind of the, I guess, the off color for, uh, for a pug. Um, so you, as you can see, the black nose area, mm -hmm. mouth area, that's where really all the black. And some of them are different too. I mean, some of them I've seen even just like spots on them too. But I've never seen those. Yeah, yeah I've, I've, I've seen, seen I've seen like spotted ones. I don't know if maybe they were kind of a mix, maybe probably a mixed breed, you know, honestly. But yeah, this is really just kind of the main general uh, color that you have. Honestly, he doesn't have as much fur on his chest and, and stomach area as some of the other pugs that I've noticed, but um, yeah, main, the main color that I've seen available is fawn. It's really been, like, as I said, been looking to try and get another pug. It's really hard to find a black one from what I, in my experience. I know. I don't know a lot um, of people that I've seen a lot, awful yeah, lot of fawns. Yeah, but he is just awesome. You know, the age range that they, uh, expected age expectancy, I believe is 14 years. Um, the average, um, weight anywhere from the, the average healthy weight would be anywhere from 20 to, you know, 25 pounds. Obviously some pugs, one of the things that they really kind of struggle with is, is obesity is actually, weight. Yep. Uh, weight problems. And, uh, one of the reasons behind that is, is just, I mean, they are built just very stocky, right? I mean, this, this middle part that they, they have very short legs, it's hard for them to exercise really effectively. And because of that, again, the breed, or I didn't mention this, but the breathing. Um, they're breathing. So that's one of the reasons why, too, they end up gaining a lot of weight is, you know, you give them a bad diet. They can't exercise because, I mean, they just can't really breathe properly. I mean, he even tries, I mean, we'll, you know, try to play for, you know, a period of time. And then it just gets to a point where he, he knows, you know, he has to settle down and, um, you know, you sometimes have some wheezing, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. There are some, that's one of the things with pugs, too, that I'll mention is that, you know, there are... Um, maybe some different medical concerns that maybe some other dogs don't right. have, um, just because again that uh, flat well, face I, there, and um, as he tries to jump around here. Well, I've noticed, and I can't think what the terminology is, but it's, Bra the fact it's breaky, break break something. That's I forget the, what it is. That's um, the palate, the the uh, shortness up here. That's why they have trouble with breathing. And yeah, they have trouble with the heat sometimes too because of that. That is very true. We did a whole true. program on that. Yeah, one that time. that's very true. That you know he cannot be out. In temperatures above 75 degrees which is pretty unfortunate like for extended periods of time obviously if it's a little you know we can go outside to take him to the bathroom because uh, that's where he likes to go he likes to does go he outside. snore at night oh my goodness I'm he sure does he does because night. my shit she snores at night <laughs> I was looking in my at ear Kate. all night long I was looking at my girlfriend just because she will tell you that he sometimes can snore almost as loud as me, which is pretty pretty incredible, considering yeah. that I'm a full-grown adult. Yeah, they really do. Well, let's let's talk about the face. Well, first of all, they've got all these little wrinkles yep. above their uh, on their uh, forehead, and also um, hi. Because, oh, I think I could like you too. Um, he says, "Yeah, well, I like him though too." Um, and they have a lot of wrinkles up there, and then they've got the wrinkles here on the face. They have problems with breathing because of the, they actually have almost no nose at all. Right. It's yeah, very, it's very tough for them. And I was asking you before if you ever have used any Q-tips or something. I know that a lot of people talk about that—the need to keep that clean there because the bacteria can get in that section. I'm giving a look over here to Kate, and Kate's good, shaking her head whenever I'm saying that. Uh, do you do this, or does Kate do that? Uh, mostly Kate does that, yeah, and I I'm, I'm very fortunate to have her help. Um, and that's, it's incredibly important to get that little crevice above the nose there. I mean, I actually didn't know that at first, whenever I first got him, and um, probably like two months past uh, whenever I originally got him, and just from him going down into his food bowl, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, he had so much just, you know, just stuff in, in there and you know you have to get that out and now we keep up with it and obviously we get them monthly groomings um and they do a good job too um helping us out there and also the ears you know obviously it's just every dog gotta get in the ears there. right you know what determines whether or not a, a dog has issues with their ears whether they have down ears or up ears like that little skipper key that was in here the ears were up oh okay we yeah. ever have problems with that but it's when they're down mm, and that's whenever there's a problem with them i was telling you before too that i've known of people that have had problem with pugs or sometimes with injuries but a lot of times because of the eye tends to be almost like bulging out there yeah that i have have known of situations you have to look this up whenever you have a chance but sometimes they just take a little stitch and stick a stitch in the corner of the eyelid here 
which kind of makes that a little bit more secure. Yeah. Because in certain situations, there, and I, I can't imagine what it'd be, maybe on a, on a leash or if they were pulling or upset or something like that, that that could have a tendency to, to uh, be an issue. Absolutely. But he's something, he's really um, cute. And they also, he looks like he has pretty good teeth. Do you have pretty good teeth? Well, you that's one of do. the things that we give him that was recommended by our vet is, um, you know, obviously pugs eat a lot and they love treats, mm -hmm. but rather than just giving them, you know, just kind of, you know, standard treats, it's good to give them those dental treats, mm -hmm. um, those dental chews. That really helps out. Try to brush, brush its teeth. Have you ever tried to brush the um, teeth of a dog? I don't do it. Do, we do try it. Do, it does it work? Oh, I, we I have can't a toothbrush for him. No. The, the amount of things that I was going to say, I think that, uh, he has more things than I do at this point <laughs> from, huh. from Kate, um, which is awesome, man. I mean, like I said, we have, we have a little toothbrush. He does not enjoy it, but we try yeah, it. And they tell me all the time you should do that, but I don't do that with my dogs either. It's it's hard. And, and honestly, talking with the vet, the dental treats do a good job of just mm -hmm. cleaning it up and, and also a good way to give them a treat and reward them, you know? They have a, a certain treat that I buy for my dogs, and it's with the um, prescription diet. It's called uh, TD. Okay. And it's a, a little thing about maybe about as big as a dime or so and it's real crunchy all right so every time my dogs go in and out i give them one of them and that tends to really help with the tartar on the teeth i think it's they have science diet and prescription diet i get this one at the vet's office but i, I know it's called td and i've noticed quite a difference with my dogs and i've got older dogs that the tartar is done much less because i give that as their treat and yeah, it's probably right. about as big as a um about as big as a marble all right. And yeah. then it has a, a crunchy sense to it. I'll well, have to check that out, too. Yeah, you should check that yeah, out. That's interesting. Um, we also talked about the fact you can't, you can't walk him on a collar, can you? No, he, a normal collar, absolutely right. not. It, 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 just with the way his body is built, it gets off. And even some of the harnesses that I bought. Oh, really? Some of those even he's able to get out uh -huh. of. Um, and as, as you can see, he, he just loves people, man. Oh, he like does. new people, got to get up and smell you. And partially, you know, some of that's my uh, my fault too. But um, he's spoiled. <laughs> I was gonna now, say. Has he's anyone spoiled. ever told you that? Yes, I can't all imagine. the time. I can't imagine why someone would say that. <laughs> well, let's talk. Okay, what about the? We know about the eyes. We know about the ears. What about the tail? Does he have a tail? He does have this curly tail, and that's actually one of the main uh, things that. Pugs are known for, I'm sure, uh, as a lot the of people know, that little curly, curly tail. tail. And we'll, we'll show it off here a little bit, too, have him come up here. Well, you can we can see turn it around. Yeah. He, he has this little curly tail, and it's always curled up. The only time that it won't be curled up is when he's sleeping or if he is, like, alarmed by something, like, really? scared by... Oh, yeah. Then like it goes it, straight. Yeah, like, there's been, like, so, for example, um, you know, somebody knocks on the door, like a delivery guy, he mm -hmm. will jump around, like get down, and their, the lower end will lower to the ground and he'll scoot around. It's kind of funny, actually. Oh, like, wow, I never thought about like, that. He gets the zoomies almost, but yeah, the tail will like, you know, go straight sometimes. And uh, yeah, other than that, that tail is wound up, curly. It is, it really <laughs> is. Um, are they good? What are the health issues besides the breathing? We know about that. You know, besides the breathing, really <laughs> just, um, you know, it's going to go to... Um, you know, you got to watch out for uh, these legs, as I said. You know, you want to make sure that you aren't feeding, the, you know, feeding your pug too much because, I mean, talking with my vet, I mean, whenever it gets to a point where, you know, they gain so much weight, it is hard on their legs to support that weight, obviously. And that's why, you know, that's why, too, sometimes pugs get the, the you know, lazy dog kind of, mm -hmm. you know, label is just, you know, hey, they just end up getting obese and then they can't move. But, you know, my dog right now, he's been 25 pounds for the last two years that we've taken him to the vet and I mean he is active man I mean he's running around jumping around like we like I said we'll play and it'll get to a point where he just gets too worked up and we gotta you know say hey it's time to you know calm right. down and so he is they are active they they mirror the owner kind of in a way you know whatever we're doing he wants to be a part of that well like, I've seen <laughs> some that are huge yeah and yeah. one of the hardest things to do with the dog is to get weight off of a dog that is it's so tough, tough. and it's... the other thing too is that I'll say with just with um with health uh, kind of issues and um also too I mean smaller dogs in general smaller breed dogs in general um, you know, some anal gland issues for sure. I was going to ask you that too. I, um, I figured that was probably another one. That's actually one of the things that we're doing ne uh, next week is we're going to the vet to um, just have a little checkup, but also um, probably about once or twice a year we'll get his you anal get gland expressed. expressed. Yep. And um, 
it's just comfort for him, you know, it gives him a little bit more. And that's another reason why, too, he's probably a little worked up today is he's probably a little bit uncomfortable right now. Um, but it's a, we'll, get it, we'll get it fixed for you on Monday, buddy. Have um, you ever seen a meme with that? I don't think I, I haven't have. ever about, seen I a meme. Have... I'll be totally honest. I haven't seen a meme. I one. haven't either. He he just he squeals like you know he he whines like he's just a whiner like you know that that's like spoiled. He's spoiled. You know I I spoiled him. I don't know what I did. I just I spoiled <laughs> him and you know I remember the first night I, I had him and you know they they told me hey make sure you you make him sleep in the crate the first night and I'm, I'm like all right I'll try that and try How to put him in the crate. Last? Lasted probably about 15 minutes of him. <laughs> From that and point then on, you let him on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's not good. Well, the thing is, is that he's crate trained for whenever we go. So, you know, whenever we go to work, he's in the crate. And oh, he, is he? he enjoys it. Oh, oh my good, God. Good. He, whenever we go and he knows that we're leaving, I say, hey, we're about to go, buddy. Right into the crate, wow. ready to go. Um, and I think he likes it because he knows he gets a nap for a while. So, oh, like, yeah, I have a little sure. camera, a little blink camera that oh, I have you? on him. And uh, we can, you know, monitor it. And like I said, I go on and he's just passed out sleeping but he has an internal clock too so around 3 30 so i get i get off around 4 30 we'll be home around that time every time i'll check around 3 30 he's waking up looking at the door waiting for us to get home and he's a smart dog man. yeah i have one of those too i have a camera that's on my dogs because i have a problem sometimes with one of my dogs peeing in the house or <laughs> going in the house or destroying that one right. got into kleenex yesterday but I can also go, I could sit here and I can watch the camera live at my house. Yeah, Which it's is where I like. Nice. And then if I get home and I say, you know what, I think I missed something. Because sometimes there are so many notifications, I go, mm -hmm. oh, this has got me crazy. But then I can go back and check what's been happening too. That's always nice, uh, yeah. What about, how are they with kids? He is amazing with kids, man. I mean, he loves kids. You know, for example, whenever he was a little puppy, I actually um, a few times was able to bring, whenever I worked at the Meadville mm -hmm. YMCA, I uh, was able to bring him up to the after school program, and he just loves the attention. Yeah. <laughs> he sure they, loves they the attention of the him. kids. Yeah. The thing is, 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 um, and again, this is partially my fault, but he's just, he's a licker. He, he's a licker. He's going to lick, smell. I don't think and, he ever uh, changed it. You know, we have, I do a lot with therapy dogs. And the problem with them is that sometimes you'll get one that just licks and you're just not going to stop it. Yeah, he's just a licker. Like, you know, you come over and he's just, he's going to lick you and get your, <laughs> he wants to get to know you, I guess. I, don't I know. guess. What about other dogs? Other dogs, that's kind of an interesting thing just because he hasn't had too much exposure around other dogs. My sister has two dogs that he gets along really well with, but then one of the dogs who is a boy dog, mm -hmm. Um, they play a little rough, you know what I mean? They play a little rough. We think it's fine. We let it go. Nothing bad ever happens. But, um, you know, sometimes there's some, uh, we feel like some uh, choice words being said between yeah, the two. It, it goes from play <laughs> to growl. Sometimes. Right. It yeah. goes from play to growl and little Poppy, the little girl dog. Yeah. She gets in the middle of it and uh, it's fun. But other than that, too, you know, some bigger dogs, you know, I, I will say he definitely gets a little bit scared of, mm -hmm. um, you know, definitely frightened. Um, but other than that, he'll, he'll go up to, you know, for example, I mean, one time we would take him out and, um, he just goes right up to the dog and, you know, like it's nothing. And, <laughs> but then there's a, you know, other times where he's just, he's a yeah, little frightened. Hard. Um, he sheds. Do you know he how I know? You've got a black shed. jacket on. <laughs> um, they, they shed year round. Is there always a shedding from him? They do shed year round. Honestly, it's, you know, it is a lot. I'll be honest. There is a lot, of, as you can see, just from oh, my yeah, time well, sitting here. I live with, I have a, a sign in my house that says, in my house, dog hair is a condiment. <laughs> right, Because it's yeah. on everything. I eat a hot dog and I go, mm, dog hair. <laughs> everything I touch has dog hair on it. Everything. Well, you take, get him groomed what? What do you say? Once, Once a, a month, you get him groomed. That helps so you can get, you know, uh, get an extra service. I forget exactly what it's called, de-shedding. Yeah, um, de-shedding. They, they do that, and that, that helps out a lot. Um, but all in all, I mean, it, it's nice that he's so small, too, where it's not mm -hmm. like, you know, a golden retriever shedding everywhere, you know, whatever. But, um, hey, just got to make sure that you vacuum every week, and, hey, we, we do that, and it's good, and we have a vacuum full do of puck hair. Yeah, do you, <laughs> do you brush him at all? Uh, yeah, we do brush them. Um, not too, too much. Uh, the, the main thing that we use to brush is actually one of the shedding tools, right. actually, to right. kind of brush them with that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it works. It, it just, 
it just keeps coming back. Uh, like you know, it's, it's, a, it's a never, yeah, it's, it's a never ending battle to uh, de shed him. Did you take him? But to he train? likes it. He did likes it. Oh, really? That's yeah, good. Did he, you he take him to training it. school? We did not, and I think that's one of the reasons why he is super, super energized and uh, maybe a little bit too friendly. <laughs> a little bit uh, doesn't know personal space too well. I, I don't think, to be totally honest, but probably not. But again, <laughs> I mean, he he certainly is happy, and he certainly got lucky with the two of you because he adores the two of you. We love him. Um, he is our everything, man. Uh, he, you know, he's as close. You know, it's weird to say, but he's as close to a child as we can have at this point right now, you know, so... Uh, if I ever him. hear of a black pug, or someone has black pug puppies, <laughs> I'll have, have to, to tell let you. Because you, know, yeah. you would be really cute with a black pug there with know. you, too. What else do I, need, do I need to know about pugs in general? You know, the main things that, that I would say, really, just to kind of summarize, if, if you're looking for a dog who is going to require your attention, worship you back, you know, give you the same amount of love back, um, you know, find a pug if you you want a dog that is never going to leave your side and requires right. you. You know, like I said, he's a lap dog. I mean, he has to be touching one of us at, at all, all times. Time. If you sit on the That's couch the or the chair, you. is he on your lap? Yep. He's constantly, like I said, he has to constantly be on one of us at all times. If, if uh, Kate isn't at home and maybe I'm on the computer, I have to be busy doing something. He has to be on my lap. And on so, your lap. Sometimes I'm a little busy and I have to move him down, so I'll put him down uh, underneath my desk and he'll just cuddle up right next to my feet because, um, I don't know, it's just weird. He just has to always have that touch. And um, he knows, like, one of us gets up from bed. He knows one of us is up and he's up seeing what we're doing. And Checking that. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's darn cute. Uh, yeah, we we had great. them in our therapy dog group for a long time. Okay. They're very popular because they were uh, people liked them so well. They and and I think it's just because they they love people. Like you know, they're they're just really good people mm -hmm. dogs, and they like whenever I say that they worship you. I mean, he worships he us, and every little interaction that we have, he. You know, he, he it really matters to him. You can tell, and I don't know. I love him. We love him. So, he's you great. are you are very very lucky. Yes, yes. <laughs> I see. I the one thing I noticed now, his eyes tend to drain just a little bit. Is that common? Yeah, I you know I don't know if it's common to be honest. I, I'll have to assume. I'll have to ask the vet about that or not. I'd take it, but I think you're going to try and jump away from me. <laughs> oh oh, and I'm going to get kissed. Oh my uh, God, I really don't like you that no, much. Rico. <laughs> He wants to get down. He only came to me because he thought he would get down. That didn't work out for you, did it? Say no, it didn't work out too well. Well, thanks oh, very much for bringing him in. I thank certainly you enjoyed so much. seeing him, and he really wants lots of attention. If we put him down, is he just going to run around here and be crazy? Oh, he probably will. So I don't know whether we maybe we can get some of that on. Oh, well, maybe we can get some of that on film, and then Kevin can use it for the beginning of it or something. Um, I can't think, think of. Is there anything else you want to add? Is there anything else we need to tell? People about him? Um, no, I think that's it. Um, but if you know, anyone knows of, of a, a black, and, somebody that has pugs, yeah. that has a black one, they can always find you at Armstrong. I would love to take a pug off there. That's the thing is, yeah, it's just been hard to find a good, uh, reputable, you know, um, yeah. we want to get a, we got him from a breeder. We want to get him from, you know, our new dog. Where was from the a breeder? breeder. Um, uh, we got down him. in Nemecolon. We, go, we went down in West Pittsburgh. Virginia. Pittsburgh, sure. And, Not um, that way. On 79. Yeah, I, it was a, Actually, someone who went to high school with my mother, and that's how she actually got in touch with her, which was really convenient. And again, it was just did, did you ever a perfect call that situation. Breed her again? No, we actually um, lost her number, unfortunately. Um, Probably could find her. I, uh, you know, whenever you're sitting on the computer and the dog is wants to be on your lap, and then you take him down and put him by your feet while you're doing work. Yep, have to find Probably it. Probably do a search. <laughs> Okay, thanks very much for bringing him in. Rico, we enjoyed meeting you. You are sure cute as heck. Good boy. Yes, you are. Good boy. All right. Okay. You want to go home, huh? <laughs> All right, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much. Should we put him Say down? Bye, let him Rico. Race and bye. Run? You going to catch him? He's, he might just run over to Kate. I don't know. Yeah, see?